Hello. The bus is running and it's running well. I'm happy to report that there are no problems with the engine so far. I did about 100 kilometers over the past few days and everything is running smoothly. Power is okay. Performance is there. No leaks, no nothing. I think we can close the page on that chapter for now until I decide to swap it with the 1.9, but that's going to be a bit further on. Right now we're done with the suspension, the brakes and the engine. So safety and reliability are taken care of. And I think it's time to move on to more important stuff like accommodation and camping equipment. As I mentioned, we're starting with the pop top. I already took it apart. I removed the H bar, the sunroof, and I gave it a bit of a clean with my pressure washer and some bleach to remove the mold, especially on the inside. The next step is to give it some upholstery on the inside and then put a big hole in the roof and install it. And then we will be popping the top. Yeah, big hole, pop the top. Let's go. Not the piece of paste though. As I said, after the clean, the finish is looking good. I am going to leave it like this for now. And maybe when we repaint the bus, we're going to give this a fresh coat as well. But it doesn't look cracked. It looks very good actually so I think we can work with what we have now I have to figure out how to flip it over so I can work a bit on the inside and install the upholstery and then once that's glued we can move on to reassembly and installation This is what the inside looks after the wash. This is some weird German material. It's a bit fluffy and sometimes if you scratch it, it peels. But all in all, I'd say it's survived pretty well. Up here, somebody has painted it with something. I peeled as much as I could. And here we have a tiny crack, which I fixed with epoxy. But other than that, I'd say the condition is pretty solid. Yesterday I failed a bit, I couldn't really glue it properly in the creases of the pop top, so I unglued it, I got new, two new cans of glue and this polyurethane roller and I'm gonna start again. And this is the finished product. 
I'm not exactly proud of my work, but considering this is the first upholstery job I've done, you can't even tell that I've stitched it in the back. Well, you can, depends on where you're looking from. But all in all, I think it's looking pretty good. With the upholstery job mostly finished, I'm gonna wait for the glue to completely dry. And meanwhile, I think I'm gonna start on a task by which I've been slightly intimidated. Cutting the hole in the roof. See, throughout the years, I have been a big fan of factory metal. Uh, I mean the material metal. I've always celebrated when it's virgin, untouched, unbent, unrusted, and it has always eluded me pretty much. I've dealt a lot with bent, missing, and rusted out metal, so that's why when I see a big slab of factory steel, I'm just really careful what I do to it. And in this case, I plan on cutting a huge hole a bigger hole than most people would in the roof so that's why it's a bit challenging the factory popped up buses have no roof whatsoever the hole ends all the way in the back over there and this has one main benefit it allows you to lower the bed significantly five six maybe seven centimeters down and gives you a little bit of storage space on top of it that way you can keep your bed sheets and i feel like that's the better option and that's what i want to go for so i plan on cutting the entire roof off i already went ahead and removed this middle uh, strut over there it wasn't that hard but now i need to mark where i can cut so i don't cut too much and I'm not that careful of a person, I don't have that much patience and I really struggle with measuring three times and cutting once. But this time I think I'm gonna try to measure ten times and cut once. Hopefully all goes well. So here's my plan. I've taken the aluminum railing. This is what holds the pop top tent. This is gonna give us the outline of metal that we need to keep. Inside of this we're gonna have about a centimeter or so for a seal or some kind of protection for the edge afterwards. My goal is to cut as wide of a hole as I can, basically all the way to here. All the measuring up is done. I've measured it to within half a centimeter. And tomorrow morning, when metal and concrete are the softest, according to the neighbor codex, I'm gonna start drilling and cutting on a fresh head. So my plan is to trace a line about two centimeters inwards from the rails and I'm gonna trace it all around. I'm gonna dr drill some pilot holes to be sure where it ends up underneath. And for the front, I'm just gonna leave some space, maybe two, three centimeters inwards. And then I'm gonna trim that down later. Finished all the marking. I drilled some holes just to see where it ends up on the inside. Everything looks good. I've measured everything and quadruple checked. And I even left some tips while I'm doing it just so that I don't mess up. It's time to start. Take two.
I'm rather pleased with the results. I think it's neat and tidy and for our purposes it's perfect. I'm gonna do some cleaning and tidying up, get rid of all the spare metal and tomorrow I'm gonna reassemble the pop top so we can test fit. We need to drill some holes in the back for the hinges and here at the front for the H bar and the latch and with that we can pretty much install it. Today we're gonna be fitting the pop top. I have Besta assisting and Mr. Angel in the back for the heavy lifting. The task for today is to figure out where we need to bolt on the rear hinges. We need to locate three holes somewhere around here so that the pop top comes roughly in place and lines with the front bit over there. So we're gonna be test fitting and drilling. I have some measurements from the donor bus where they had drilled three separate sets of holes. Uh, so clearly they didn't get it right from the first try, but we're gonna try to be better. Time for a sit rep. Over the past couple of days I had some friends over giving me a hand, moving it back and forth and I didn't do much filming, at least not as much as I would have liked. We test fitted the whole thingy, remember how I said I'm gonna measure once and drill three times? Yeah, th that's, that's what we did. Uh, I also drilled the front holes for the, for the luggage compartment, that was a bit finagly because you can't really reach to get measurements for the brackets. I did get some measurements from the donor bus, but I didn't really enjoy how it was installed there, so uh, I had to start from scratch basically. But here's where we are at now. Here above the cab, the luggage compartment needs to align with this rib here on the chassis. You can see it here. So you push it all the way back, and that's how you know it's in place, as best as you can. And on the outside, you want the pop top to cover this ledge and this ledge needs to be covered by the seal afterwards. So this is the fitment we're looking to make. To get the fitment at the front, I drilled the rearmost hole here, but that was way too far back. So I drilled this one, which was way too forwards. And then I ended up drilling this one, which is spot on. And when I was done with this one, I took measurements and I made the middle one and the rearmost. Afterwards, I had to adjust the latch here properly. It came with the oval holes, but they were coming just on this wall here. So I didn't go for them. And instead I drilled my own and I moved it a bit out like so. So that way it fits properly and the fitment comes spot on. For the H bar, uh, it steps here. I also made three sets of holes. Right now we're using this and this one. And I've made some brackets here to strengthen th this piece of metal because it's a bit flimsy and it's not quite happy supporting the entire roof. And drilling the holes that hold the front luggage compartment was a bit hard as well because there's no real access there. I used some of my hand washing paste to make imprints from the brackets and I used those to drill the holes. This is the seal I'm gonna use for the perimeter of the pop top. You can see the tube is on the side. This is a standard door seal. You can get it brand new relatively cheap and you need about 10 meters of it or so. For the leading edge of the pop top where it meets the front luggage compartment, I use this one. It lays in the groove pretty nicely and this little lip here on the side helps it seal pretty well. You can also use, again, this one if you have a bit of a gap. It's just a bit of a tighter squeeze. For any of the edges I've cut, for example, here behind the handbrake and all around the pop top, I'm going to use this just to provide a nice finished look. Pretty much any scrap yard has loads of it, if you can't find it brand new. This foam rubber type deal 
I'm going to be using on the luggage compartment at the back edge. I don't think there's any factory seal there and I just didn't want to leave it bare so I'm going to use this. I need to install the rivets for the latch at the front and once that's done I'm going to do a final assembly, see if any adjustments are needed. If not, I'm going to have to take it apart one last time to clean everything up, make it neat and pretty and then we can install the canvas.
We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Здравейте! Ако днес сте в северна, западна или южна България, не забравяйте, че дъра си вкъщи. До полунощ остава жълтия код за обилни дъждове с гранотевици. Очакваните количества на валежите са до 35 литра на квадратен метър, но е възможно и повече. I think it's time to put an end to this episode here. The conversion is complete and I'm really, really happy with the result. This is an absolute flex on everybody with a regular van and a dream come true for me. It feels amazing, it looks amazing and it is amazing. The hardest part was definitely deciding to cut the roof from the van, but after that was done everything was pretty straightforward. Fitting the bottom part of the pop tent wasn't exactly easy either, but some swearing and some sweating later it was done. What really tied the whole thing together was the air struts. Initially my girlfriend couldn't open the pop top because it was a bit too heavy for her. And I went to the scrapyard and I fetched some air struts from a Mercedes Beetle. They were really cheap and actually quite strong. I had to mount them a bit further back and that way the pop top opens effortlessly it's a bit hard to close i think she might not be able to close it actually because it takes a bit of pulling power but that's a sacrifice i'm willing to make obviously all in all this was the most satisfying part of this build so far and i'm really happy with it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did you should drop a like ask me something in the comments and consider subscribing thank you very much for watching bye